My name's Laura, I'm the illustrator for Letraset Promarker Manga Chibi Mascot and today I'll be showing you how I replicated her using the Promarker pens. So before we get to the colouring, I'd just like to talk about how I prepare for my illustration work. So the concept is a sketch or a couple of sketches. You usually send these off if you're working on a project with someone or draw out one or two versions of what you'd like to draw and then you can decide from a selection which one's the best idea. When you've chosen your best idea, you can do a more detailed pencil sketch. Don't worry about rubbing out any lines or anything at this stage because I usually put the pencil sketch on a light box and ink on top of it. This is the inked stage. We will get to this in a minute using the video. Sometimes I like to lay out edits and maybe re-ink if my original sketch wasn't quite accurate enough. Before I start on my final colouring, sometimes I like to make copies of my line art and test out the marker pens I'm going to use. So this is only a rough stage, so it doesn't matter if you change your mind about the colours or you know, how rough it is. As long as you're happy with the colours that you put down, this really helps with the colour selection process. So to create this illustration, I've used a Letraset A4 bleed proof marker pad. I've used a 0.3 Letraset fine line drawing pen and I've used all the markers that come in the Letraset Pro Marker Manga Chibi set. I've separated them into light colours and dark colours and I've used the blender pen as well. Now that we've done all the preparation work, now I'm going to show you how we colour in using all the different details and processes. So to start, I've put my pencil sketch on top of the light box with a fresh piece of paper from the Letraset Bleed Proof Pad on top. I'm using the Letraset Fine Liner to ink over the lines to do the ink work. Once finished, I actually like to leave my line art about 12 hours, maybe 24 hours to dry. This is because the alcohol in the markers can sometimes smudge if the ink is not 100% dry, so I just like to be sure. Okay, so as you can see, I've started colouring and using the lightest colours first. You use the edge of the nibs uh, without raising the pen off the paper. You work quickly to keep the paper wet. The alcohol in the marker gives a finished and even fill and it's good for skin texture. As you can see I'm colouring in the hair and the skirt and using an, an arched motion. I'm keeping my wrist still and moving the pen back and forth in an arch and I'm leaving areas of the paper white. This allows for consistency of my light source. I colour in the t-shirt using small circles for a matte effect. My light source comes in from the top left angle and it gives a nice 3D effect to the illustration that I'm drawing. So when the areas are dry, you can use the same colours on top of the first dried layer. This creates a darker shade to create shadows and more depth. Again, furthest away from the light source, so aim for the bottom right areas of the picture for shading. Using marker pens allows for great layering of colour. And for contrast, you can use different marker pen colours in the same colour range for that extra detail. I'm adding colour to the donut here by making sure that the ink for the bottom layer is wet and then I get a darker colour on top and stipple. I put small dots on top of the donut which bleed out very finely to give this nice texture to make the donut look nice and edible and sweet. When colouring in the sweet wrapper I usually have two pens to hand at the same time. I'll always put the blender pen down first. The blender pen is alcohol but pigment free. Uh, this creates a nice wet texture so that you can put your pigment colour on top and the pigment colour will blur out a little bit. This creates a softer colouring effect, uh, very different from putting one layer down, letting it dry and putting another layer down to get two different effects. The blender pen will help make the colour look smooth. <music> Thank you for watching, I hope you found it useful.